uh, Opina Fee was uh, started uh, just closing in on about two and a half years ago. And we are a little bit of a different or unusual project in the open source world in that we're you know, not necessarily coding or building a particular component. Uh, what we are doing is looking at the end-to-end -end stack necessary to enable NFV for uh, operators who are wanting to deploy it and bringing together the various open source pieces uh, that are necessary to build a full stack. And we do collaborative development with upstream groups, and those can be uh, folks like OpenStack, Open Daylight, FDIO, OVS, um, and you know, basically to enable NFV use cases, we will figure out what features are needed and we'll do collaborative development upstream. We will then uh, compose a set of stacks. Uh, we will deploy them in an automated fashion across um, different types of hardware in labs around the world. Uh, we will uh, test uh, what has been integrated and pulled together. <coughs> and then give that feedback back to the upstream communities and see, you know, for certain use cases, you, you need all those pieces working in concert together to enable certain use cases and capabilities, and you sometimes don't see where there are subtly, um, you know, things either working well together or not well together until you test end to end. And so um, that's what we do. Uh, we also have a very active service provider community who are sort of giving us the requirements. And so we help amplify the voice of the service provider across the open source ecosystem. But our next release is about to come out. It is Danube. Uh, we name our releases after River, so this is the Blue Danube. And with this release, um, we are continuing to enable um, and improve the maturity of a lot of just key ca platform capabilities, things like IPv6, BGP, VPN, service function chaining, et cetera. Um, we have, for the first time, um, integrated Mano um, into, into that stack. So um, our first releases were very focused on the infrastructure layers. Uh, we are now bringing the Mano piece in. We integrated with OpenO. We also did some Mano work ourselves around things like network telemetry and templates. Um, also doing a lot around modeling. Uh, looking ahead, um, we have now brought in, um, we've been looking a lot at accelerated data plane sort of capabilities um, so that you can get the throughput necessary um, in, a, in an NFE architecture for network-based services. Um, so that's another key thing. Um, and then we also, uh, you know, from an architecture side, uh, have been doing some work to make choosing sort of what type of network control you want uh, easier. Um, so it, it makes it easier to swap in and out various SDN controllers or various other types of uh, network control pieces. And then finally, um, uh, work and advancement in our sort of you know, DevOps methodologies and our, and our testing pieces around performance testing, uh, creating a lab as a service program, and then also um, a lot of work around integrating directly the various upstream coding groups, CI, CD pipelines into sort of one big engine so that we can, in a more agile and fast fashion, uh, really interact with developers across, you know, 10 different upstream communities that are delivering relevant code.